Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Uh, it's very difficult. <laughs> Oh, it was hard. Yeah. Hello, Lily. How are you today? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, very good. How was your day at work today? Oh, it's very, very easy. <laughs> very busy. Okay. okay. Well, we are going to relax in this class. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, have you gone to, through the platform? Yes. Did you do the exercises? Yes, um, no link check in the lesson object. How many knowledge check did you do? Two. Two, okay. So One I expect- Okay, 1.2 1, 1. and 1.5, right? And our three, because I I do that 1.8. Ah, you did 1.82? Yes. Oh, that is great. That is great. Let me find my... Okay, very good. Okay, and Maria... Did you did you go to the platform and do the knowledge check? Yes. How many have you done? Three. Three. Okay, Three. that is Three. good. That is good. And yes. tomorrow you. you are going to do three more, right? Okay. Okay. Very this good. Evening I, I this evening I make a, a one checklist. The unit two. Ah, unit two. Yes. Okay, very good. I, I'm glad that you are advancing on the okay. on the platform. Okay. And I have and I have a question for you. Ah, okay. So we can start looking at those questions right now if you want. Okay. okay. What is your question? And uh, your presentation. And. I don't remember very, very well. Okay, let me see. Let me see. That is in section one or in section two? It's in section one. Section one. one. Okay. okay, very good. Very good. Your presentation. Yes. Okay. And the simple past tense. Simple past tense. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And you. Um, okay. I lost my. Okay. And this, this negative form. Negative B. form of regular verbs or the pass of B? B. B. Negative form. B. Negative form. Okay. Let me find that out. Negative. Okay. Okay, so that is, can you see the screen? Is that exercise? Okay, but for example, the negative form is, it was not hot. Is right? Yeah, it was not. And contracted is, it wasn't. It wasn't, yes. Correct, correct. I wasn't happy. I wasn't right? happy. That is correct. I wasn't happy. I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. They weren't working. They weren't working. Perfect. They weren't playing. 
They weren't playing, correct? The dog wasn't fast. The dog wasn't fast, excellent. It wasn't slow. It wasn't slow. Okay, but um, yes. And the next page. Uh -huh. no. Did you finish this one? You were in yes, Canada. Yes, yes. Okay. The simple past tense, be positive statement exercises. Uh, the simple past. Simple past, positive statements with other verbs, right? Okay, so you're talking right. about this yes. one. Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. This one, it was the, 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 the exercises, positive statement exercises. Yes, yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. What is your question? Um, the verb is a regular or regular verb? It's irregular, okay? Okay, uh, it's mixed. We have oh, go, okay. that is irregular. Imagine that is irregular. Book, collect, frighten are irregular. Eat is irregular. Feel is irregular. Grow, lose, and steal are irregular. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. This is my my confused. I, I I very I don't understand that. Okay, so for example, number one is they all went, went. Uh -huh. they shopping. All, okay, they all went shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, imagine book and collect and frighten. You add ed, right? Imagine. Imagine. Uh -huh. Booked. Oh. Book. Booked. Ah, okay. Okay, because they are regular verbs. Collect. Collected. Okay. okay. And frightened. frightened because they are regular verbs okay now we go with number six the past tense of it is eight. Eight. eight my chocolate uh -huh. who ate my chocolate now the past tense of feel is felt, felt. felt. right very good felt the past tense of grow is yes, grew. grew. That is correct. The past tense of lose, lost. Yes. And the past tense of steal, stole. Stole, that is correct. So with that, we make positive statements. We need the past tense of the verb. Okay. in the affirmative statements. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. So and do you have, do you and the last... Any? Okay, I have any question. Um, other question. Okay. If I simply be question... Be questions. Your, yes. But simply be question be in your question. presentation. This one? Uh, no. And no. this one? No, mm, this one. It's the page number. Pass simple, big questions. Yes, yes, this is. Okay. So, uh -huh. for example, what is number one? Pass simple sería you, you were. No, because they are, they are questions. And if you uh, remember. In the, in the question, take a look. In the question, where? the verb to be, uh -huh. oh, the verb to be takes the first position. Okay, very good. So, were you tired yesterday? Were you tired yesterday? That is oh, correct. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Number two, was the weather good? Was, was the weather good? Yes, it was. Exactly. Very good. 
Number uh, three. three. Number three is, is where? Where? Where we? Where we? Uh -huh. We're too noisy. Where too noisy. we? Too noisy. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Number hello. four. Uh, hello. hello, teacher. Uh -huh. How are you? How are you, Fine, teacher? Fine. Thank you. And you? Fine. 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 It's okay. okay. Very good. Okay. The next one. Number was, four. Was he a doctor when he was young? When he was young. Was he a doctor when he was young? Okay. Excellent. Number five. Where? Were they? They? Where they be in the class? No, no be. No, no, no. Ah, no, it's where only. It, only. Where, where they? Excuse me. Where? Where they? In the classroom. In, in the class yes, last, last week. week. Last week. Correct. Yeah. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. The next one. Was she a good student? Was she a good student? Was she a good student? Very good. The next one. I was. No, I was. No, is no, no. no. Was I on time? Uh, Excuse was me. Was I on time? And it's okay because that is part of the learning process. You made mistakes, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight. Where, where Julie and Lucy, Lucy at the meeting? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Were Julie and Lucy at the meeting? Very good. Number nine. Where, where we where, in Paris? Where we in Paris? Very good. Number ten. Uh, where, uh, where, where, where were you? Where, where were, were you? you? It's right there, right? Where were you? Okay, very good. And number number oh. eleven. Eleven. Uh, what was the noise? What yes. was that noise? Que fue ese ruido? What was that noise? Perfect. And number twelve. Who was that mess? Who was that man? Okay, very good. So we are clear there, right? Yes, thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome anytime. Okay, so anybody has more questions? No, yet. Are you sure? Yes, it's clear for me. It's clear. It's clear. As clear as the water of the Asenwater River. Uh, maybe. <laughs> as clear, as clear <laughs> like horchata. As clear as horchata, that is correct. As clear the river, el Asenwater. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, but we have more, okay? We have more of that. Uh, Thank you, teacher. No, no problem. So whatever question you have, remember, this is the place to do those questions right here, okay? So don't feel bad about it. It's okay. That's what we are for right here, okay? Now, uh, we have more about the simple past because we only cover a half of the section, okay? But we have more, okay? And today we are going to talk about using used to, okay? We are going to talk about using used to. So, yes, let me clear this, okay? Okay. So now here we go. A statements with used to. Affirmative, we need the past tense of used plus the base form. Okay. I used to cook. Negative, we use the auxiliary. And because the auxiliary is in the past, use goes on its base form and the base form of the main verb. In the questions, we have the auxiliary, did. And used to is going to be 
on its base form, not in the past. Okay, is that clear? That is the form, that is the form of used to. Now, Just. okay. Uh, what is the meaning of used to? Used to Rosalia. Is something Rosalia. that you did in the past, but you don't do it now. Or something that you didn't do in the past and you do it now. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes? Clear. Okay, very good. Let's see some statements. She used to work in a shop. Now she works in a bank. So she has stopped, she has stopped working in a shop. But in the past, she worked in a shop. Now she works in a bank. So she used to work in a shop. Ella solía trabajar en un taller. Now she works in a bank. Number two, he used to watch a lot, a lot of TV. Now he doesn't watch much TV. They used to be married, but now they are divorced. So can you see something in the past that you did, but you don't do it in the present anymore? Okay. There used to be a cinema here, but not anymore. Now there is a supermarket. I used to have a dog. I had a dog in the past, but I don't have a dog now. So I used to have a dog. I used to play football every weekend, but I don't have time now. So I don't play football anymore. When I was young, I used to go fishing with my father every summer. But now I don't go fishing. Is that clear? Yes. And the last one, she used to have a house in the country. Obviously, now she doesn't have a house in the country. Questions? No questions? Everything is very clear? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Okay. Very good. So here... Okay, affirmative statements. Okay, I want you that you make the affirmative statements. What is number one? I used to live in a flat when I was a child. I used to live in a flat when I was a child, period. And that is correct, very good. I used to live in a flat when I was a child. Now, do you know what is the meaning of a flat? Bandera. No, no. a flat is an apartment. Uh, this is used in European, European uh, English. Okay. English from Europe use this very often, flat, that is an apartment. So I used to live in an apartment when I was a child. Obviously, now he lives in a house. Is that clear? Yes. Clear. Okay, very good. Now we are going to do one by one, one by one, okay? Now, let's see, Antonio, do number two, please. We used to go to the beach every summer. Uh-huh, we use, and look, because they are affirmative, you have to use the past tense of use. Okay, we used to go to the beach. Every summer. Every summer. summer. Okay, and that is perfect, okay? So, Perfect. Now let's uh, see. I have a question. Yes. 
in this part is a question, right? But it's ah, a... Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, this is a question. So I'm sorry. So here we have to change. Okay. Did... What is it? Did we... Use Did it? we... And then we change this. Yes. Okay. And here, instead of the period, a question mark. Delete that E and we. Yeah, and we. Yes. I'm sorry. No Did we used to go to the beach every summer? every summer? Because in questions, we only use the base form of use. Excellent. Okay. Eleonora, what about yes, number teacher. two? Um, she used to love eating chocolate, but now she hate Hades. She used to leave, she used to love. To, she used eating, to love eating chocolate. Chocolate. Com, comma. Comma. But, no, but now she hate. But hate. now she hates it. But now she mm -hmm. hates it. Period. Okay, mm -hmm. Period. very good. Mm -hmm. And that is totally correct. She used to love eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Okay, now this one is negative. So you have to be careful, Maria Reyes. What is it, Maria Reyes? She, she used. No, because he, it's negative. He not. No? Didn't. Aha, that is correct. He. Didn't, didn't use to smoke. Uh -huh. He didn't used to, used to, used to smoke. A smoke. That is correct. He didn't use to smoke. Period. He didn't use to smoke. So that means that now he smokes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Obdulio, what about the next one? He is uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. But I have problems to connect it. Ah, uh, no problem. But you are here right now, and that is good. Okay, we are working with. Uh, let me show you. We are working with. Uh, with statements with used to. So in the affirmative, we use the past tense of use. Plus the verb. In the negative, we use didn't plus the base form of use and the base form of the next verb. And in questions, we use did plus subject plus used to and the infinitive. Okay? okay. So, so we are doing this exercise. I. I use it to play. I used to play. I used to play tennis when I was at school. Excellent. Very good. Tennis when I was at school. When I was at school. Perfect. That is totally correct. Okay. Congratulations. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next one, let me see who's gonna be next. Uh, uh, Julio, okay, Antonio, Brenda. Can you do the next one, Brenda? Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, she used to be able to speak French but she has forgotten at all. Uh -huh. She used to be able to, to speak, speak French, French, but she has forgotten at all. But she has forgotten at all. Okay, perfect. And then you have this sentence correct. Okay, Cindy, what about the next one, Cindy? It's a question, Cindy. 
Okay. Um, did, he, did he used to play golf every weekend? Did he use? And look, be careful because I have the auxiliary here only use, not use. Used to play golf every weekend. Okay, very good. So that is totally correct too. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, Guadalupe Cruz. What is the next one, Guadalupe? Okay. They both used to have short hair. They both use, and because it's affirmative, I need to write the past tense. They both use to have short, short hair. Short hair. Ah, Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, Lily. What about the next one, Lily? Judy. 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 He, she used. Used. Use a study Portuguese. To study Portuguese. Now, the only thing is the now or we use Julie or we use or we use she, but not both. Julie used to study Portuguese. Okay, very good. Linda Tabora. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, can we do number 10? We are working with used to. I didn't use to hate school. I didn't use, use to... to Hey, it's cold. Okay, very good. So, uh, we are beaten. Okay, we are we are missing. Okay, we didn't use to hey school. And remember, when we use used to is because we're talking about an activity in the past that we did but we don't do it anymore in the present or or an activity that we did in the past that we didn't do in the past but now we do it for example this one he didn't used to smoke so obviously now he smokes are we clear? Hello? Are we yeah, clear? Teacher. We're clear. Yes, yes. Okay, very yes, good. Teacher. Very good. I'm going to erase this for the next group that I have. Okay? But very good. Now, okay. I want you that you, everybody has, well, you have the, the presentation in the, in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you have it in hand. Okay, now I want you that you do the next exercise, but in pairs. Okay? I want you to do the next exercise in pairs, please. Okay? Okay, so let's go to the next one. Now, Negative statement with used to. I didn't use to smoke. Okay, so this is incorrect. I didn't, Peter didn't use to be very late. Please turn off the microphone, please. Okay, 
Susan and Sam didn't used to. You didn't used to. We didn't used to go to bed early. They didn't used to eat a lot of chocolate. He didn't used to feel very lonely. She didn't used to go out every Saturday. And Mark didn't used to be a bad person. And I didn't used to dream every night. So all these are things that I didn't do in the past, but now I do them. Is that clear? And take a look. The auxiliary did in negative and used in base form. And the main verb in infinitive. Very clear, correct? Correct. Okay, yes, very teacher. good. Okay, so, but here I have only negative statements that I want you, that you do in pairs. So I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break into groups, okay? Uh, so you have the exercise in hand, correct? Do you have the presentation in hand? Do you have these exercises in your hands? Because when I break you into groups, you won't be able to see my presentation. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, okay, so we are, we're gonna make five groups. We're gonna work in pairs. Okay, so Brenda and Guadalupe go to room number Teacher, one. excuse me. Yes. Yes? Excuse me. Uh, I taken the class in my cell phone so I can see the presentation. Yeah. In your cell phone, no problem. Yes. Because right now that I break you into groups, you have the presentation in your cell phone. So no problem, okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Guadalupe, go into room number one. Antonio and Linda, room number two. Maria Reyes and Mario Marenco in room number three. Uh, Cindy already there with Obdulio. And Lily, you go to room number five, please, with Eleonora. Okay. Maria Reyes, room number three with Mario. Antonio and Linda, room number two. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Antonio, go to room okay. number two, please. Brenda, room number one. Okay. Okay, Linda, you go to room number two, Linda. Mario, room number three. With Maria, Maria, go to room number three, Maria. Okay. Go to room number three with Mario. Mario, go to room number three, please. Okay. Okay, very good. And do the used to exercise with negatives. Maria, go to room number three, Maria. Number three. No, room, room number three in the computer. In the Zoom, in the Zoom, they are asking you to go to room number three. I I work in my cell phone. I I have a, a problem. <laughs> First time. Sorry, teacher, I don't, I don't. Okay, no problem. I don't see, okay. No, no problem, okay, wait, wait. Oh, Mario, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, Mario, I want you to get out because Maria Reyes doesn't know how to get in into the small groups. Oh, okay. So get out and you work, okay, very good. Okay, now Maria and Mario, you can work. I can give you my presentation so you can work. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
What is number one, Mario? The number one is I did. All I did, are negative, remember? All are yeah. negative. Yeah, I, I didn't use to work in Twin Towers. Uh huh. I didn't use to work in the Twin Towers. Number two. Eh, Maria, number two. You uh, didn't didn't use use to leave the classroom at four. Uh huh. You didn't use to leave the classroom at four p.m. Okay, number three, Mario. I didn't use to trust him. Okay, now Mario, do you have the presentation in your cell phone? Correct. Yeah, in my cell phone, but I have to I, ha I have to search it because I don't have him right now. Right now. Ah, okay. So go ahead and search it, okay? And when okay. you are prepared, go ahead and work with uh, Maria, okay? Okay. Number four. Yeah, number four, Maria. He didn't use to drive the truck. Okay, very good. Now, let's wait for uh, Mario. Mario, okay? I'm going to go to another group right now, okay? Okay. Very and good. Okay, okay, teacher. And the number, the number five is, is five. Uh, going to super. Okay, the teacher. Classroom. To continue with the number six. Number six. Yeah. She used to be able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. No, is the number one? Hello, did you finish? Not yet. Yes. <laughs> did you do all the exercises? <laughs> no, because I, I, I don't have able to see the questions, but <laughs> we meet other each, each other. <laughs> So. <laughs> okay, can you see can you see my screen? Can you see what can you see on the screen? Yes, I can. I, I see you talking. Now, but uh, you don't see the presentation. No, right? No. Okay, no. now. Do you I, have I'm going to try to get ready tomorrow. <laughs> okay. From no the problem. other No problem, Cindy. Aparato. <laughs> now, um uh, Obdulio, do you have the presentation in your hands? Uh, no, I don't have. Ah, what happened? <laughs> I, okay, I, let me bring everybody back, okay? Okay. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, good evening, Ivan. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Okay, were you able to do the presentation, the presentation exercises? Very easy exercises, correct? Yes. yes. Very good, very good. Now let's wait for the other participants to arrive. Let me see who are in, Maria and Mario. Okay, Brenda and Guadalupe are still in, Eleonora and Lily are still in. Okay, they'll, they'll be with us in 20 seconds, okay? Okay, here they are with us. Okay, very good, very good. Now, let's go ahead. So we did negative statements with used to. Now, the next one is to do questions. Now, examples. Because we have the auxiliary, the use is going to be on the base form, okay? So all use has to be in the base form. Okay, 
Now, did you use to smoke? Did you use to do anything that will get you into trouble? Did Marcia ever used to do anything so silly? Did you, did you used to watch Mickey Mouse? Did you used to like school? Did you used to wear a school uniform? What did you used to do? Where did they used to go? And can you see when I use, when I write questions because I have the auxiliary, use goes on is base form. Can you see that clearly? Hello? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Yes, now, teacher. here we have some questions. Now, because not everybody has the presentation in hand, we are going to do it here without going to the groups. Okay, for example, what is number one? Can you tell me? What music, what music did you used to like when you were a child? Ah, did you use to like when you were a child? That is perfect. Okay, excellent. What music did you used to like when you were a child? Okay, now. Number three. We did one. No, it's a question. No. Remember, it's a all yeah, yeah. more questions. Did, did we, we used to does the cinema on the weekends? Did we used to go to the used cinema? To go to the cinema on weekends? Did we used to go to the cinemas on weekends? Very good. Now in the country, but now they live in the city. What is the question? Let's see. We're going to go one by one. Okay. okay. Uh, let me see who hasn't participated. Let's see. Uh, Ivan, what is question number three? Number four. Question would be Did they used to? And the bird has to be live, right? The same one. Live, yes. And uh -huh. simple. Okay, so finish, finish the, the sentence. So the sentence will be Did they used to live in the country? But now they live in the city. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. The next one. Okay. What is the next one? Let me see. Uh. uh but I have a question on number four. They uh -huh. didn't. Right. Because, but now they live in the city. Uh huh. Yes, it's a narrative. Because hey. they in the in the country in the past okay forget about this okay let's forget yeah, you're right let's forget about this okay did they used to live in the country you are right okay now uh, linda what is number five okay did he used to make the he cake make a cake last week? Did he used to make a did he used to make the cake last week? Okay, very good. Okay, and we are going to did he used to make a, the cake? And we are going to erase all this. Okay, did he used to make the cake? Very good. Now, the next one. Uh, Obdulio, number six. Oh. 
of Dulio. Are you there, of Dulio? Turn on your microphone. Turn on your microphone, of Dulio. Okay. Number six. Number six. Did she use to have long hair when? When she, we have to, to change this. When, when she, she was younger. When she was younger. Uh -huh. Did she used to have long hair when she was younger? Very good. Okay, Mario, number seven. Did she, did she, did she used to very tall when she was wait, in the wait, school? Wait, 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 did she use, what is the verb? Here it was, was, was in the to past. Be. Aha, uh -huh. did to she be. used to be? Very tall. Very, very, very tall. tall when she was in school. That did she used to be very tall when she was in school? Very good. Now, uh, Maria Reyes, number eight. Aha, uh -huh, Maria, what happened, Maria? Ah, ya la había dicho, perdón. Uh -huh. Did Peter used to be to bed very, very late on, on Friday and Saturday? Did Peter used to but not to be? What will be a more appropriate verb? Go. Uh -huh, very good. Okay. Did Peter used to go to bed? Used to go to bed? Very late on Fridays and Saturdays. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, Lily, what is number nine? Did Robert? Okay. Did Robert use? Uh huh. Use. Mm. Use to go. Use to. Play. play. Uh -huh. Used to play in a band. The robber used to play in a band. Very good. Okay. Uh, Cindy. Uh, let me see. I'm a little, a little bit confused. Maybe. Maybe. Did I? Did I? Broken. Wait. Broken. Did I? And what we are using? Used to. Uh -huh. Did I? To. Broken. Used to base form. Bare form. Broken. Did I used to broke? Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Break. You used to break? Break. Did I my use wife? My arm? In a skiing accident, did I used to wear my right my arm? in a skiing accident when I was 21? Okay, now let's change this. When I was 21, did I used to break my arm while I was skiing? While? While I was a skiing. A little confusing. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no problem, but you did it correct. Okay, remember in questions, <laughs> did I used to break my right arm while I was a skiing? Okay, remember, we talk yeah. about, we are asking about activities that we did in the past, but we don't do them anymore. Okay? 
Very okay, good. Okay, but but I didn't see any birds. That's why I thought. I know, I know, but you have uh, to figure it out. Have to figure it out. <laughs> okay. Now, very good. Uh, uh oh. 